hey guys this is options tender here uh what a day just um kind of grind in there um didn't have the greatest day myself but uh you know we had some names at work so we're gonna check all those out we're gonna do multiple time frames of the spx and we'll um do the es so we can check out our day but uh let's uh jump right into it so on the monthly chart we have our loa one two three four and we're working on five right now um really tight range for that december candle it's uh it's i i don't see that we're gonna be moving anytime soon but uh until january so um let's uh keep our eye on the price and and not speculate though all right so on the weekly one two three four and working on five we're still making higher highs and higher lows um we're we're keeping trend the momentum's up so you know <laughs> trend is my friend and we'll go to the daily on the daily we have elliot wait, one two three and we're right at wave four we don't know if wave four is over yet um we still are bullish we're holding the 20 ma and we're kind of squeezed right in between the 8 ma um but once four is done i, I am pretty confident that uh we still have another wave that uh, to wave five you know our only caution here is uh, on the macd we're we're uh making a downturn we've made a um macd bearish cross so that just gives us some caution with our trading we don't want to trade too big um we uh don't want to make those type of mistakes so let's move on to the expected move for the week you know we always start off with the expected move every week to see if we're going to touch each side um the options market um uh prepares us for our trades and right now we're just kind of scrolling through the middle last week we did not touch the upper edge or the lower edge so we're tightening up this week the expected move is smaller i know we have an x we have one less day to trade but it's still significantly smaller and we're not we uh we came down touched the bottom side and we're reaching about the um start date here so it still looks like our range is getting really really tight um let's see if we can work our way to the top um moving on to 65 minute chart on the es so we can check out our day um working from this sell-off here elliot one two three four and five we had the sell-off here abc correction and right now i believe we're working on wave one um I at first I, I wasn't sure if we were at a wave one and completed wave two to move up to three but now um, I do believe we're here in wave one we may be making a uh, a head and shoulder pattern here to move down to um, I left the retracements here to maybe the 38.250 or 61.8 which is uh, a little bit more common for the uh second wave so we'll check that out we'll we'll follow price and um i i do believe we might have a little bit more downside we'll check this out in the morning and uh with our macd cross on the 65 minute chart that gives us a little bit more clues and um, with this downtrend here that we did not come to all right let's check out some individual names we're gonna roll over to the qqq we're going to do these on the daily chart so we can just see from a little bit higher uh range okay we're holding the uptrend line here also the eight ma still bullish we're getting really close on this uh on the macd here uh just riding along with it so you know we're, we're not really moving up we're moving sideways right now but we still have a bullish edge apple apple is moving the market it was tesla before and i think apple's taken over and we all know what apple does it moved out of this range we have some highs some a little bit of supply up here to deal with um but i do think uh after apple comes up here and maybe breaks this point we all know how it can trend so once apple breaks these points if and when we have the momentum up on the um uh, we're curling up on the daily in 65 minute we're we're making an up move and increasing our momentum so once we get past here gosh apple can trend and it can move the whole market with it so along with apple and here's why our market is it, it, it's it's barely 
moving down. And so, you know, momentum's up in the market, but really this techs, these big tech companies are going to hold it up. So we have Microsoft that moved up to our upper resistance here. It also is in the same situation with um, Apple. If we do have this inverse head and shoulder, um, if we break out of here tomorrow, next week, or January, and again, that can move up the whole market. You have two huge market caps like that. They can... Uh, it can do some damage. <laughs> All right, so NVIDIA, just a popular name. I want to get this one. We're squeezing really tight on the MACD. Um, getting really tight here. We have this bottom um, uh, ascending triangle almost, um, but it's holding this. You know, this is a good one that if you want to put out a January, February, maybe a, um, a debit spread, a call spread because we're, we're going to break out of this one way or another and and we know i would do a call spread if um we break out of this triangle down this way we know that we're wrong and that's when you get out and you you move on to the next trade um if it bursts out of here to the upside we know nvidia loves to move and i believe this is the fourth wave here and we're going to move up to the fifth wave beyond all right beyond didn't do what we wanted to yet today we're still watching this one wave one wave two i'm, I'm not sure that the wave uh if we break this support here then i know that the wave two needs to come down a little bit more um we haven't had much of a retracement but we have some sideways movement on the daily we still had a little bit of uh pointing down almost sideways so we i see the price is working its way to get the momentum back up so that's why we are watching this one to go into wave three paypal all right paypal making that big move we had that range i love to play these ranges it's easy to play them back and forth until we break out and now um, we didn't we we actually missed this play right here because we were working on some other names but um making a big move um paypal is bullish 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 on all sides so um you know there's a possibility that uh we have uh, wave one two and we're working on three so a little bit higher to go and maybe you'll make some consolidation for a wave four in there and this is a um i believe what we are on a wave five so we're on wave three of five if you guys are paying attention to the elliott waves i'm starting to get into those a little bit more just because of um, the confidence of trading and gives you another layer uh, to trade on. So moving on to the next name, go daddy, go. <laughs> it's been in this huge range and making this big move. I think go daddy has so much room to the upside. This is a huge wave one, in my opinion, um, down wave two and moving much, much higher. But if you want to look at a different case, we have, um, we uh, have this huge range. And we're breaking out of that range coming out of here this would be a wave one coming down to two now we may not be done with wave two we're, we're holding at this point but it could come down to retest this uh this wedge breakout so just not quite sure where we're going on. and the reason why i say it could go down a little bit further is because the macd is crossing over here on the um six and the uh daily chart so it may have to work off a little bit of the momentum work its way back up to make much higher moves godaddy is looking good okay neo neo and it's fourth range here people are loving this name it's looking very bullish we're holding the 20 and the 8 ma right here we didn't make much of a move on this candle here today um and it, it's kind of showing that we're, we're we're trying to make that cross there so um we can, we got in back in here today we put a little bit of time on our trade we want to see it go at least up to this resistance range at that at that point we can make a little bit more um make some more decisions on what it's going to do next but we may have um let's see here after this breakout we may have a wave one and the wave two might have to come back down here to make another one so you know put some time on your trades this is this is the holidays there's some you know volume is uh is is decreasing the trading days are decreasing so give yourself some time on these trades okay um unless you have really good conviction and you're playing the weeklies um but get out when you're wrong adobe adobe looking beautiful i love again we have that range we have inverse head and shoulders trying to crack out of that range right now we have a downtrend that we broke through and it's just peaking above here so looking for the breakout it is on the verge PLTR. 
Pelenter Tech. All right, you see I got some uh, sell <laughs> orders there, but also looking very good holding the 8MA in the 20, uh, breaking out of the downtrend here with the with the uh, um, symmetrical triangle and hopefully working on a wave five here. So love this name. D-King. All right, DraftKings. Let me just change the board here. Trend is my friend. Um, once again, we're we're working our way up wave one, two, and hopefully on a wave three here. We held this trend line today. Um, we're just right at the 8MA, but we held that 20. Um, just looking bullish. We're waiting for a move up and just give yourself a little time. Okay. Um, we want to close this gap. This gap wasn't quite closed yet. We want to close this gap. All-time highs are up here. I'll put some more um, resistance there. And uh, maybe the, the uh, third wave ends at that resistance. We'll see. And the last but not least, Nat Gas. Nat Gas is one of our one of our conviction plays right here. Now, um, on the daily here, wave one, two, three, working our way down at four. We're, we have a channel here. We're right at the top of the channel, right at the 50 MA. So uh, this wave one, this new wave one here may have to come down to break back up. But let's watch this. If it breaks the channel um, anytime soon, it may even gap over. They love to get um, these huge gaps. So if we come above here, uh, then we have just a little bit of resistance above. But uh, this may want to form a head and shoulders to get out of this channel here, here being the head left shoulder, right shoulder, somewhere around here. So um, be careful if this comes back down, look for the right shoulder, and then much, much higher. All right, thanks for joining me. I hope this information helps out. Press the like button, subscribe if you wanna get these every morning, night, and weekends. I'm also gonna put out a new video for your IRA accounts for a little bit longer term. I have some great names for you that I have myself. So I uh, love it. Thank you very much for visiting with Options Tender. Have a good day. See you in the morning.